Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So last week we created a menu whereby you could choose your difficulty. Now I'm going to show you how to use that same menu to make themed levels. So I'm going to make a themed level around eggs. I've already added in some additional cards for some additional egg sprites. So I've got six all in all now. The number of egg, the number of sprites you have for your themed level is entirely up to you. Um, and uh, your theme can be anything you want. Maybe your theme can be underwater. Maybe all of your cards are going to be different types of fish and underwater animals. And the background that you're going to have is going to be an underwater scene. So get creative with it. Um, and do whatever types of themes you want. Maybe you want all of your game modes to be themed levels. Maybe you want them all to have different themes. Um, so to, I'm going to show you how to make um, a themed um, option in our game mode sprite. Make sure you've clicked on game mode. We are going to go to the costumes. We're going to make a new costume. I'm just going to duplicate the bottom one. I'm going to rename this costume as Egg and change this here. Now, one useful thing is if you're ever looking for a specific color, you might know about this tool here, which allows you to get a specific color. Um, but you could also just, um, let's see if we get a nice egg here. You can also have a look at the actual color um, qualities of other sprites. So for example, I've got this, this egg here and I can see that the color is 11 and the saturation is 13. And remember, these numbers are also the same kinds of numbers that you'll use um, in code when you're changing the colors of things using the code blocks in like looks and that kind of thing. So it's useful to know sort of what sort of numbers in Scratch relate to what kind of colors. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm even going to group this up and I'm going to decorate my little thing here. Control C, Control V, copy that across. So you're going to have a bit of fun with it, be a little silly. All right, now we've got our egg option in our game mode. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are creating that option. So we need to look for when green flag clicked and then underneath that look for the repeat four. We're making five of these now. So if we hit go, there we go. That looks nice. Now, if you wanted, you could also change this minus 50 to minus 45 just to make them a little bit closer together. I think I like that. That looks good. And now what we need to do is we need to look for our when this sprite clicked and we've got all of our different if costume equals. We need to make some space, take away that broadcast game start and then br and then duplicate one of these if costume number equals. And we need to create our new details for our um, game mode five, which is going to be our egg game mode. So I'll leave that the same, that the same, that the same. Now here's where things get interesting. So if I only want some of these costumes to be active, then I need to make sure that it's not including all of these, um, these first six costumes here. So what we're going to do so we're going to go to the card sprite, we're going to have a look in the code, and then we're going to go across to variables, the dark orange category. We're going to have a look at our existing variables. We should have a variable called number of suits. I want you to right click on the left side of the screen on number of suits and rename that. We're going to rename this suit range max. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to create a range of the suits. Remember, the suits are the symbols of the cards. We're going to create a minimum and a maximum, and it's only going to pick from the minimum and the maximum. 
which makes sense, right? So we're going to we're going to call this one suit range max. Press OK, and then we're going to make a new variable. Click on make a variable, and we're going to go make one called suit range min. So this is going to be the minimum of our range of suits. Let me explain what I mean by that. So if we've got a range of suits that start at two and go to five, then it'll be the apple, the bananas, the orange, the watermelon, two to five. The minimum is two, the maximum is five, apples, bananas, orange, watermelon. But then what you can do is you can say, all I want is a level with only strawberries and cakes in it. And then, then you have the minimum, the range of the minimum of the range is six and the maximum is seven. Probably a bit too easy, just strawberries and cakes, but you can do whatever you like, it's your game. So, actually I'll zoom in so you guys can see this a bit better. Look for when green flag clicked and you should have a set range max to zero. Let's pull out a set range min to zero as well. So now we've got our, our minimum and our maximum. All we need to do now is first we need to look for define create list. Now to, re to, rem um, to remind ourselves, this is what chooses all the suits of the cards and puts them into the list. And what happens is we've got this set card suit to pick random two to suit range max plus one. It used to be number of suits. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out um, suit range min and put it over that pick random two. So then it's going to pick random numbers between our suit range minimum to our suit range maximum. Now this plus one, pull that whole suit range max plus one out, grab this suit range max and put it back in. And now we've got pick random between suit range minimum to suit range maximum. Suit range min to suit range max. So now it's picking um, our costumes based on those two numbers. And then it will select randomly between those two numbers. So what we need to do now is we need to go to our game mode sprite. We need to um, look for when this sprite clicked and now what we should have is a set suit range max and right above that we're going to drop in a set suit range min to two because up till now we've always had you know apple as the lowest part of that range okay so We've got now got set suit range min to two, set suit range max to four. Now that four had a plus one added onto it because of the way our previous code worked. So we're going to, need to change that to five. And if you're interested why, it's because of the blank card. That's the first costume. So our code always added that plus one so that it would skip over the blank card. Now that we're using a range, we've got a minimum and a maximum. It's probably just easier not to be adding uh, the plus one and such for um, so that we can just keep track of what costumes are we actually going to be creating our range between two to five. So we should just probably have that number as the minimum number is two, the maximum number is five, for example. Six for our next costume. And we do the same thing for all of our other um, little uh, variables that get set at the beginning of the game. If costume number equals five, remember what's our fifth costume in my game? It's the egg mode. So I can decide how many columns do I want, how many rows, how many lives, and then finally we need to make sure we've got our suit range min. And I'm going to say that this time, instead of, instead of saying two, so that we're starting at the apple, I'm going to say eight. The suit range min is going to be eight, and the suit range max is going to be 13. So we're gonna get all of these only egg themed costumes. 
So if you want, at this point, you could create a whole bunch of different themed levels just by adding in a bunch of costumes and changing the minimum and maximum range of the suits in our variables. So I'm going to say 8 to 13. Okay, let's see if this works. And it works! We've got ourselves only eggs. So, that's kind of cool, but there's one more thing we're going to do is because we've got all these themed cards, we're also going to make a themed background. And in Scratch, that's actually quite easy to do. So what we're going to do, on the right side of the screen, click on Backdrops, and then in the top left corner, click on the Backdrops normally where costumes are. And then let's rename this costume to Black, so we know what this costume is. And then the bottom left corner, let's click on Choose a Backdrop, and I like the farm. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, that's cool. And so now, if you go back to game mode, the sprite game mode, um, and then go make sure that you're in the looks and pull out switch backdrop to farm. Now, when we start the game, we're going to have this farm background. And as we remove cards, we'll be able to um, slowly unveil the picture that's behind, which is kind of a cool, kind of a cool mechanic. But now what we need to do is we need to make sure that when you start the game, it resets the backdrop to the black backdrop. So yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a reveal the picture game now. Um, so we need to make sure that all of our different game modes have a backdrop now. So for me, this is going to be kind of simple. I'm just going to make sure that it's switch backdrop to black. And I'm going to put one of those in. Underneath in all of the little if costume number equals our little level setup codes. And at the beginning of the game, I also need to make sure that we are switching the backdrop to black. So now when we start the game, if we select easy, we've got all of the, the original um, uh, costumes that we chose, the original range of different um, costumes that we have. We've got our, and we've got our backdrop is, make, is making sure that it goes to the black backdrop. But if I select egg, this looks quite different. Now there is just one last thing we need to fix, and that is the falling cards animation. So make sure that you've selected that sprite, the falling cards animation sprite, and then look for the code that starts with when I start as clone. You'll see we've got our switch costume code. Now we could just drag in our suit range min into the pick random one, and there's one little problem with that. The range, the minimum and the maximum of our suits, is accounting for a blank card that's in our, that's the first costume of our card sprite, but it's not in the falling cards animation sprite. So you can just fix this by just, for example, dragging that um, costume over and then dragging it up so that it's all the same. That is one solution. Um, but if you don't want that solution, the other solution is just to put in some minus ones to account for that extra costume that we don't have in the falling card sprite. This is the solution that I'm going to go for. If you don't want to put in the minus ones, um, then all you need to do is make sure that you've copied across the blank sprite um, into and made sure that it's in position one of your costumes. 
Hope this was a bit of fun, showed you how to tidy up the code a little bit so that we've got more control over the types of cards that we have. We're able to have different types of levels. Um, so that's probably all I'll do on this project. Maybe if I think of something else really interesting, I shall come back to it. Um, so share, share with me um, what sorts of things you've used in your game, how you've changed the game, what things you've done differently, how you've gotten creative with it. Um, it's been a lot of people asking for help with their projects um, in the YouTube comments. Uh, just remember that I don't think YouTube will let you link to your project. But um, if you tell me your scratch name, I'll be able to look up your project so that I can see what's wrong. If you just say, my project isn't working, I don't know what to... <laughs> I have no idea how to help you with that without knowing some of the details. But if you tell me what the specific problem is, say, ah, oh, this specific thing isn't working, this is my scratch name, um, can you have a look at my game? And also, make sure you've shared your game, because if you haven't shared it, I won't be able to find it. Um, but aside from that, uh, subscribe to see the new episodes um, as they come out and you'll see what new surprise game is coming out next week. Um, and stay awesome, be cool to each other and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.